Yo, what is going on, guys? Oh my gosh, um, I apologize. Why do I have to keep doing this apology thing? Um, in which why I'm not making vlogs every week. I apologize, but there is a reason now in which I haven't made a video since last Tuesday and not Sunday. Um, and that is this. It, it looks mirrored, but uh, the new Harry Potter has taken over my life and I have some very uh, very um, specific opinions on it that I think need to be discussed in an entire video by itself so this week I am just going to be discussing Harry Potter and the Cursed Child um, my thoughts and opinions and everything but first let me just bring up a couple of things just to get the whole nerd news thing going and then we can talk about Potter so um, in the last week, I finally caught a Pikachu in Pokemon Go. I, you know, I finally did it. Um, so. Yeah, so I finally got him. Um, that, that's exciting. Um, and then also at the end of this week, Suicide Squad comes out. Um, early reviews for it have been, you know, good. But they said it's not, you know, it's... Okay, but the cast is incredible. That was something we could have told you when they first announced the cast. So, um, very excited for that film. That I'll I'll have a video out about that later this week or um, next week. But today we talk about Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. So let's get started. So I, I've been talking about it on my channel for a while. Um, if you don't know what Cursed Child is, it's the it's a play that is the eighth story of Harry Potter. Um, it takes place 19 years after the Deathly Hallows, and Harry, Ginny, are married and have kids. Ron and Hermione are married and have kids, and it's just kind of that story. Now, um, it was a play written for theater, and it is premiering over in London as we speak, and um, it's the eighth Harry Potter, I guess. If you don't want to know anything about the plot or anything like that until you read it for yourself, stop watching the video now. I'm giving you five seconds right now to stop watching. Five, four, three, two, one. Are you gone? Okay, spoiler time. I really don't know how I feel about this. I still don't know. I finished the book um, a couple days ago or yesterday, and um, I just I was intrigued. It was it was Harry Potter, you know. It was something new. We were brought back to the Wizarding World. It was fun to be back, but there are just some things wrong with it that don't make sense in in terms of the other books. And being the fact that the other books are my favorite books of all time, I just have to take issue with it. Now, there are four things I want to talk about. Um, Delphi? The characters themselves. J.K. Rowling. And missing characters. Are the things wrong with it? Well, and along with Delphi, I'll talk about the continuity errors as well. So, let's start with Delphi and the continuity errors. So, Delphi, obviously, is the daughter of Voldemort. But, that doesn't make any sense. Okay? Like, Voldemort... We know Voldemort. Like, the two characters we probably learn the most about in the seven books are Harry and Voldemort. You're inside their heads. You know, you're not really inside of Voldemort's head. It's not his story, but Harry is inside of Voldemort's head. Tom Riddle was a person who couldn't feel love, who was selfish amongst himself, and wanted to live forever. Those are the three things wrong with him having a kid, okay? He couldn't love, so therefore I don't think he could have made love or 
wanted to love enough to have a child. He is selfish. He wouldn't have settled down with anybody to do anything. Um, to make a child or, or, or think about being a father. And he's just like, he's, he's, He's just not that he not that type of, of, of character. We know Voldemort. He look, he, he couldn't have planned to have a child whatsoever. There's no way. Like he there you know, he was gonna live forever. He made Horcruxes to live forever. There's he didn't have enough time to plan to have a child. Um and that's what I have wrong with it, is that timeline, that continuity in which Delphi would have been born, is just, it, it's impossible. There's no way. Like, okay, so Voldemort's got his Horcruxes, and he's the entire, this is during Deathly Hallows, okay? So, for the entirety of the book of Deathly Hallows, he's looking for the Elder Wand, and he's trying to get Harry. And in no time would he have been able to do anything. The Malfoys and Bellatrix Lestrange were trapped at Malfoy Manor for like a year. They weren't out doing anything for Voldemort. They were trapped in the house and Voldemort was elsewhere. So, if I didn't mention, Bellatrix Lestrange is the mother of Delphi. Okay, and that is weird. I, because Voldemort, I mean, Bellatrix was his right-hand woman, per se, but he didn't care about her. He, he, he doesn't care about anybody but himself. So that's the other thing, you know. It's just he doesn't care about anybody but himself. And, yeah, he made, you know, Bellatrix was his right-hand man, but he did things by himself. He didn't care. But back to Deathly Hallows' plot. So he's off doing other things the entire time. He's not the type of person to settle down and have a kid, and he definitely didn't plan it. But that's the other thing. So Bellatrix is trapped at the Malfoy Manor for a year, and so comes the time where Harry, Ron, and Hermione escape with Dobby. He comes back and he's angry, maybe then? But even so, no way. She didn't get punished for that. But, you know... Delphi says herself, I was born right before the Battle of Hogwarts. But the fact being is Voldemort didn't know Harry was hunting Horcruxes until like the day of the Battle of Hogwarts. So there wouldn't have been time to have a backup plan to say, I want a kid to take over and be evil. There would, you can't conceive a baby in a day. Maybe Voldemort did. But Bell she said she was born before the Battle of Hogwarts. So Bellatrix didn't get pregnant, have a child, and fight to the death in a day. So I just don't think that fits. Now, I'm not trashing the Delphi character. Because I really liked her. I liked the way she was evil. She was an orphan. She wanted to meet her father. But I just think that was a very lazy storyline to do with that. I just thought it was very lazy. It felt lame. And, you know, what if it was, you know, the baby of Rodolphus and Bellatrix or something like that? But why did, why did the mother have to be Bellatrix? Like, that doesn't make sense in the line of the plot. There is just no time in which... Bellatrix would have been able to birth a child and fight the way she fought. Um, I just think that's ridiculous, and I think that's stupid. Um, but, you know, if, if the mother had been somebody else, like if Voldemort had, like, aggressively, um, you know, in an act of violence, accidentally had a child, you know, with, like, maybe a muggle or something, like, that would have been cool, or, like, any just a random nameless Death Eater, but why did you have to make it Bellatrix? The The fact that it was Bellatrix didn't make sense. It could have been, if it was literally anybody else than Bellatrix, 
it would have made more sense, but it, but it didn't. So that's what I have wrong with that. Now, step two that I wanted to talk about was the characters themselves. I thought they were written well, but I have issue with two of them. Harry Potter and Ginny Weasley. They didn't feel like the same characters. Now, I know the plot of the story is supposed to be like, you know, they're struggling parents or whatever. And okay, okay, I'll follow along with that for a while. But there is no way that Harry Potter, an orphan who dreamed his whole life to have a family, neglected his child. I don't get that. So for seven bucks, you've got at least one or two or three or th five thousand quotes about love given from somebody to Harry. And Harry, a person for seven books, we know how he acts and behaves. And all of a sudden, he can't love his child. He doesn't know how to get to know him. He doesn't understand that his son's an outcast like he was. I have a hard time believing Harry just gets out of that mental state. It was a complete tonal shift from the end of Deathly Hallows to now. I just don't get that. And then Ginny, who is a Weasley, the greatest family in the wizarding world who accepts other wizards, you know, like Harry and Hermione and, and, and anybody, into their home and treats them like they're their own? You're telling me she doesn't know how to raise the kid either? And I know, like, it's supposed to be Harry and Albus's story, but where the hell was Ginny? What the hell was she doing? It didn't, and, and Ginny, instead of, you know, who, who was a tough character, she's a very independent, you know, strong female character, but then she doesn't, she doesn't, you know like, sets Harry straight like she seemed to have done in the past. She's just kind of, like, going along with his I don't know how to parent this child thing, which I don't get. I don't get that. We, like, we read seven books about Harry. We know how Harry acts. And that wasn't like that. Like, Harry, like I said, you know, he's an orphan, he was an outcast, and... So is Albus. Well, he's not an orphan, but he's an outcast. You're telling me Harry doesn't know how to relate to him as a parent? What the hell? So, like, that I just don't get. Harry and Ginny seem like two complete different characters. Everybody else was fine. Like, Ron and Hermione, they were great. But then it's like, you know, their daughter Rose was in it for, like, a minute. And then, like, Hugo you don't even see. And then you don't even see James and Lily, Harry's kids. Harry and Ginny's kids. They're not in it at all. And you're telling me, like, you know, yeah, like, you kind of find out that James is, like, you know, he's Albus's brother. They, they butt heads a little bit, but no. You're, you're going to tell me that his brother and his sister aren't, like, going to be there for him? I know he got sorted into Slytherin, but the Potters and Weasleys know what love is that didn't just disappear i am shocked by that random character trait of harry to just change i didn't i didn't get that three i'll shortly discuss jk rowling so i don't think this was her idea to begin with i know she can't really leave it alone but i wouldn't want to either like there's so much more you can do with this story but i just don't think it should have been picked up after Deathly Hallows. You wrapped it up with a bow nine years ago. You should have left that alone. But that's why I think, you know, notice this is the first Harry Potter book, but well, book, that has two other names on it than J.K. Rowling. So you've got John Tiffany and Jack Thorne. And I think this might have been a ploy by her to put these other two guys... I know they wrote the play, you know, they helped to write the play. I'm not saying they didn't do anything, you know, but all three of them collaborated. I'm just thinking, you know, Joe Rowling's name is on there, along with these two other guys, so these two other guys might be able to take the blame for it. 
Now, like I said at the start of the video, I don't hate this book. I just don't know if I like it being part of canon. I just felt it felt off. It felt weird. It didn't feel right. It didn't, you know, because, I, you know, if, if, if it, Harry was the same Harry from before, maybe I could have accepted it. If, if Delphi's mother were different, then I could have accepted that Voldemort might have had a child. But... You know, it didn't feel right with the main characters, and it didn't align right with how evil is. It didn't, it didn't match up with how Harry is or how Voldemort is. And then, you know, you bring us back to the Harry Potter series. We're all excited. I mean, I was excited for this book. I'm still excited that there's more to the Harry Potter universe than just seven books. But this wasn't a good start to expand it after the seven books i don't think it was it felt like fan fiction it felt like it didn't feel like jk rowling and you've got two of the main characters voldemort and harry not acting like themselves and Ginny, and you've got continuity errors when you add in all that time travel bullshit which would could have been a good plot but when you add time travel to a plot it makes it confusing and that's kind of what it was. It was confusing. Why now? And my final point in why this was confusing is... You didn't even bring back all the characters. Where was my boy Hagrid? Where was my boy Neville? You talk about Neville, but he's not there. Where is my girl Luna? Where is George Weasley? Where are Arthur and Molly? Where is everybody? Where is Teddy Lupin? Who is the same age as Delphi? Where is Teddy? He was in the, the epilogue in Deathly Hallows. What the hell? <laughs> like, what the hell? He, he was a cool character. You know, and, and, and for, like, the, the second that he was in there, he's hooking up with a girl or something like that. And, and, you know, we get brought back to this world, the same world we left nine years ago, and things are different. And characters that are important to the story aren't there. I, just, I, I, I don't want to rip this apart, but it's too easy to as a Harry Potter fan. And I'm a fan. Of Harry Potter. I'm a fanatic. I'm nuts about Harry Potter. I liked this. But. I just don't know if going through rereads and everything like that. I want to include it with the other seven. I don't think I can do that. Because I can't be reading Deathly Hallows over again. And be thinking about the fact that. Bellatrix is pregnant? doesn't make sense. I can't be reading Goblet of Fire again and be saying Albus and Scorpius are in the crowd or, or like being, well, two versions of them are in the crowd protecting themselves from screwing up Cedric Diggory. I, I, you know, it's a good read and I, I'm glad I read it, but like I said, I don't know if I'll throw it in with the other seven. I just can't. I I see this as fan fiction. I see it as, you know, I see it as something that was exciting, but it it I felt like it was its tone made me want to think about Harry Potter differently, and I can't I can't do that because it was so perfectly ended nine years ago. And I feel like that's where it should have stayed. But it was a good read. I recommend getting it if you're a Harry Potter fan. But I, I just have some problems with the story. And I, I just felt like this pro if this project was 100% in Joe's hands, she would have handled it a lot better. But I think she was worried about, you know, bringing it back. And um, John Tiffany and Jack Thorne might have been a problem with that. I, I don't have a problem with them either. I'm glad somebody brought Harry Potter back. But I don't think this was the story to do it. I think there was so much more we could have done with this, and that didn't happen. Um, 
So that is my video <laughs> on Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. I hope I didn't ruin a perspective for you, but I'm, I think the points I've made are very evident when you read. I think when you're reading, there's a lot of what, there's a lot more what the hell moments than there are, oh, that's nice moments. And that's not what this book was supposed to be. So it's not disappointing, but it could have been better. And I think it should have been handled better. So that ends this week. Um, pick up a copy. Give it a read. Do what you got to do. Um, but Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them is in November. Let's get excited about that, Potterheads. But... Uh, Yep, I'm reading Harry Potter over again. Um, I'll play the video games over again, watch the movies over again, because i got to get back to what I know Harry Potter is um, a little bit. But uh, since this kind of is a vlog, what I'm playing, what I'm watching, like I said, Harry Potter. Just got to get back to it. Suicide Squad comes out at the end of this week. I'm very excited for that. But... To wrap it up, please, thumbs up, comment, like my video, um, subscribe to my channel, let me know what you think about Cursed Child in the comments down below, um, and, you know, tell me your reactions as well, because I want to hear from the Potter community what they thought about this. Um, but, yep, until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.